All right, guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. Uh, so this is Sunday. I swapped brines. I got Brian O'Connor with me today. Fish with Brian, Brian him yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he had been on a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, jigging spoon fish. So we went out to do a jigging spoon fishing yesterday, and they really didn't cooperate with us very much. Uh, let me. Here's the intro from yesterday and a little bit of our action there. Hey guys, good morning. Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com with my buddy Brian Branham. Uh, we're just going to sneak out here. It's Saturday morning. Is it June 1st? Real close. I, I think it's June 1st. Can't remember. Uh, just real quick for you, those of you who have not been down here. So you can see in the background, the lake's back above 170, oh, I yeah. think. So pushing it's, 171. So we're, we're pushing six and a half feet high. Uh, and, and the reason I want to do this intro real quick is so Brian lives down on the dam end and the public ramp Which is the big ramp there is closed is the park closed twin dikes park closed? Um, not yet, but it's not long because the lower part will be completely inundated I saw it yesterday and it appeared to be open. Okay, so they're actually it's not just that the water's high They're reworking the public ramp. So it's going to be closed for a little while. Brian said it closed on the 28th we believe Hank's Creek is also closed, mm -hmm. and you said there's another one. You I think, think Monterey's closed. You think Monterey's closed? Yeah, and of so, course Harvey has never reopened, and there's some ramps at Rayburn Park down there that have never reopened. All right, so we're just going to go banging around a little bit today. I get a lot of questions about how to reach Brian. So Brian, real quick, how do guys reach you who want to book a trip? The, the, be the best way is just call me. I mean, I don't mind my phone number being out there. It's 409-698-60. 75 or text you know i'm on the water a lot yeah good and point. out of pocket a lot they don't so, have great service yeah, just, everywhere yeah, yeah and the service is off and on on the lake and and i normally don't <laughs> i don't i don't i normally don't answer my phone during guide trips sure. just like yep. i wouldn't for them you know? all right so, so we're gonna go 609-698-6075 there you go so even though the water's high we're gonna go deep brian's on uh a pretty interesting little fun bite we thought we'd show you all this morning we finally got a break without any wind so we're gonna go poking around, and you know I don't do this enough, but I'm my sure. new favorite sound is this. I like that sound. I love the sound of that motor. And Bodie's here. Bodie's Bodie. fired up. Bodie is very excited. Come Bodie, here, buddy. you want to go bust on him? Come here, buddy. All right. Hi. By the way, I saw another bad boat crash on video the other day that the guy, and it was a little bit older video. The guy didn't have his kill switch hooked up. It's just so easy to hook your kill switch up. That's all. I just did it right there. So we I know the lake. Even you know, even when I move 100 yards, I use my kill switch. When I and I know it. you'll get on a guy about it because you've gotten on me about putting it in gear standing up. Yeah, I won't do those things. So there you go. Two guys who spend a lot of time on the water, both with their life jackets and their kill switches on because we got people we want to go home to. That's right. So what you see there is, uh, and, and we didn't stay with it probably as long as we should have. Uh, I couldn't fish a full day, uh, but uh, we caught, you know, several, lots and lots of yellow bass and sand bass and catfish. Uh, and a little later in the morning, I said to Brian that, you know, we need to go and do some other stuff because I've got the BFL next weekend. So we went, uh, we went shallow and went to flipping and uh, kind of on some main lake stuff. And this is pretty much what we did on the main lake. Got one? Yeah, the problem is when I set the hook, he was 25 feet to the right of the bush over there. That little bitty one. Put or two of water over the top of the grass and I was in the hole. And it was... Look at that. 
that sucker. This is a good one. Say, I'd say this fish, Bodie, quit. I would say he ate that thing. So well, we did that, uh, and we were we were goofing around and going down through there. And I looked over in the hay grass, and I could see this big tail sticking out of the water in the hay grass. And I told Brian, I said, "That's a giant fish, whatever that is over there." And we went over there and we could see it was a giant flathead catfish. And he took this rod and this, this, this setup right here. If you want to catch a giant flathead catfish, the Super Duty 3 rod with the, uh, the speed spool, the MCS speed spool on it, 65 pound smackdown braid, and 65 pound braid will catch a 70 pound fish. So here is, uh, here is, the little bit of a catfish circus we had here. Uh, I checked it later. It took him 19 minutes to boat this fish. So enjoy this. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Get the boat out to deeper water. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. Take it. Don't fall down. Telling you right now, if I got him good. So we are we're goofing around here shallow, and all of a sudden we see this huge op with his beaver. head nose. And Brian flips a beaver over on top of him. And what you're gonna see here is Brian's bowed up, and it's gotta be, it's at least a 50 pounder. It's bigger than that. Brian's already Brian's making the call 70 to 80 pounds. It is a ginormous fish. Have a gaff. I have no gaff. I have no net, but I have Brian. Oh my gosh. Look at the big. Oh my gosh, that's a big op. Brian has hooked the Bigfoot of Sam Rayburn Lake. It's about 70 pounds, I'm guessing. Is that my rod? Yes. Oh man. Rod, uh, what rod, it. It's a four rod owner hook. Brian, what a what rod is proper for fishing for the seventy pound op? <laughs> it's a custom loose speed stick flipping rod. It is. And this is a very large fish. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Bodie, you do not want to get in because he might this get is you. An amazingly large. Fish. I've never caught a fish this large. Probably not even in salt water. I'm getting him out here to open water yeah. away from the brush he was in. Hey Brian, that's my rod, so I appreciate if you didn't try to boat flip him. I'm not going to try to boat flip him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at him. There he is. There he is. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Bodie, no, you can't this get in there. We'll wear that fish out eventually. wonder what the rod and reel record for a op is in Rayburn. I don't know, but that one's big. I mean, he is massive. Hey, don't lose my tungsten. God, yeah. He's beautiful, isn't he? Look at all the color in him. Absolutely beautiful. How are we going to put that fish in here to do anything? You're just going to grab him by the gills like them pros do. You want to move these rods? Yeah, I'll get him out the way. Bodie, Bodie, come here. You can't mess with him. He's too big for you, Bubba. Come here, come here. Look at come that. Come here, come here. You can look at him, but you can't mess with him. Don't get bit. I don't know what happens to you with that. Look at that. You lose a hand. <laughs> look at this thing. Where is the bill? Oh. By the way, for those of you at home who don't, you're trying to get a sense of how big this fish is, Brian's 6'4". 
And you can see Brian's hand down there, how small his hand is compared to that. Cat I don't want my thumb in there. Jurassic Park that he's got hooked up down here. Give me a yeah. measurement across his head right there. So just across his mouth is about eight inches. Across the back is a solid 11. That's them kind of them guys reaching them holes and get a hold of them. Yeah, well, I'm not him. No, I understand. What is this? Oh, my carpet! <laughs> <laughs> Measure his length. Get his, get with the board. So there's 18 inches. 18. There's 36 inches. And how much another? Twelve. So he's over four feet long. Now get him back in the water, and then you get to clean move the car. dog. I'm afraid he's gonna get hurt. Come here, Bo. That's bigger than you thought it was, isn't it? Dandy catch there, bro. Oh, look out! Woohoo! Brian, champion catfish fisherman. Nice what job you there. about that, Bojan rolling that? Or put you back oh, on? yeah, he's definitely rolling in that. I'm going to have to get something. You got a towel? Uh, we got water bottles. Yeah, that was helpful to leave me a little bit. That Man, was a dandy. That was huge. I think it was dying. Yeah, I don't think he was in good shape. Well, what was the total length on him? 48 inches at least. We can get a guess on a weight on that when we get home. Oh, my God. Wore out. You know what? I think I hurt my back. <laughs> Picking him up. So, uh, Look at here. Good old <laughs> beave. <laughs> On a two aught hook. And that hook's it's not even a, sprung. It's a four aught. Look, I mean, it ain't four aught owner jungle. Look at it. It ain't even sprung. It's not sprung. That's unreal. There you go, boys and girls. Send that to the owner man. So uh, that was pretty much our day yesterday. Brian and I talked last night. We had a little, little get together down here and. He didn't have much going on, so we decided to come out and fish today. And we really talked last night. I felt like to catch better fish, we needed to be fishing these. You can get a ton of bites doing just exactly what you see Brian doing there, which is flipping these bushes. How much water are we in right there, Brian? Seven and a half. So these bushes are six feet deep. There are deeper bushes certainly on the lake. And we really decided that it probably made sense to try to fish um, to fish main lake stuff and you'll see well let's look right off the bat this morning here's my very first pitch this morning what did you flip them what, what weight there we go Take heartworm pills in. First cast of the day. First yeah. pitch of the day. But that's not a good omen, typically. No, oh, there they are down there. First flip of the day in a main lake bush. Took Brian about two minutes to catch one on a frog over here. Uh, you know what, and I think that Brian caught a frogfish right there too. I don't know if we have it on camera. If we do, we'll stick it in right here. But we fished a lot of main lake stuff, and we're catching a ton of fish. We've gone through multiple packs of, Brian's been flipping a rage crawl, and I've been flipping a beaver, and we've gone through multiple, multiple packs of them. Uh, I call it a, a nice crappie on a crankbait right here. Big difference. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Just had little, I just had a little one follow this in when I ripped it off. Oh, hell, look at you. 
We're gonna eat tonight after all, honey. Look at there. Six cent square bill with a big nice crappie. That's that little uh dang it. That's that little flat side crankbait I was talking about. It's in the Father's Day box. That's actually one of the crankbaits out of that. Uh, we caught, I caught a couple of fish on a rage tail swim bait right here, but really the only decent fish we saw today, which makes no sense at all, was jammed all the way in the back of a little, uh, it's a drain off the main leg, but we were 300 yards off the main leg. Absolutely. We were yeah. way back in this stuff and the camera, we'd actually, come on, show me a big one. Uh, we had, uh, we'll let him keep playing around up there. Uh, Brian caught one three and a half pounds, which is the best fish we've seen today. I mean, right now. Well, O'Connor waited until, uh, that's a good view. <laughs> O'Connor waited until I ran out of juice to actually catch a decent fish. Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, that was a three, four pound fish. I don't know. And right now I'm on a eight or nine pound limit. I just got nothing working. So you can you can have a ball right now. You can catch a ton of fish. I saw a guy, he still got that fish on in there. There he comes, great big one. Uh, that's a keeper though. Uh, anyway, uh, you can catch fish over the tops of drains. We saw a guy catching them cast after cast yesterday on a wacky Cinco. I got Friday, I'm gonna get to practice and I hope I figure something else out. The difficult thing is, as you guys know, I don't like flipping a hook in practice, but I also don't want to think I'm catching some better bites when I'm just catching more of those things, because that's going to do me no good. So I'm just going to go Friday. Um, I'm probably going to throw a frog a little bit more. Uh, I left my frogs actually out of the boat today, uh, other than just one, uh, the uh, Strike King practice perch is what we call it, because they'll bite it, but you can't catch anything on it. Can't get a hook up on it. Uh, I guess I probably just eliminated getting Strike King as yeah. a uh, sponsor there, we didn't I? Call that off. Yeah, so I'm not calling that. That's the truth on that frog. Uh, they make some great baits, but that that per practice perch ain't one of them. So, anyway, uh, we'll be back down next weekend. We'll get some more video up for you guys. We had a great time today, but we just, I mean, even with the fish he caught, we might have had 12 pounds, and I I think that would even be a stretch today. So. Uh, we did do some other stuff today that cost us some time. I think if we just buckled down and, and flipped this stuff, we could catch, you know, a bunch of limits. I just don't know that we can catch any size. So uh, we'll see what happens next weekend, and we'll get another video up for you guys. Uh, I've also got part four of the Dickie Newberry tar uh, talking about his first year on the tour, if you haven't seen that, and some great footage from his Chickamauga tournament mixed in as well. Uh, I'm going to post that right here will be that series, so that should be the top, which will be on y'all's right in the screen there. If you'll click on that eye, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch those videos. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget about our Father's Day boxes. I'll put the place you can get those below. $50 box and $100 box you can get for six cents. Both of those are great deals, and there's videos about that too. Matter of fact, I'll stick that video right up here as well so y'all can see that if you hadn't seen it yet. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, we're gonna go put it on the trailer. See you guys.